You may have heard this recently, sitting is the new smoking. New research into the risks of our sedentary lives reached the alarming conclusion that we are likely to get sicker from sitting than from cigarettes. Joining us to talk about that tonight is Dr. Florence Comite. She is New York, a New York City doctor in private practice. And Dr. Comite, I mean, I kind of did a double take when I saw this, and I'm sure other people did as well. How, how is that possible? What's, found, what's been found is that um, when you sit for extended periods and you're not moving around, your cardiovascular fitness decreases. That's really the point of the study. I can't say that it's as bad as smoking or worse than smoking, but the news is interesting and what it points to is that sitting for long stretches just isn't advisable. Yeah, and how does it, I mean, it's part of the sedentary behavior includes driving, internet surfing, and reading? Yeah, just sitting still. So, you know, you know people who fidget all the time, that's a good thing. So you want to move around, you want to get up. Even some companies now are taking away chairs and having people stand to work or sitting on balls, bouncing on balls, so that yeah. you, you always have movement and you tighten your core. So those kinds of bits of advice will help make the most out of your fitness. How did they come about this info? Do you know what they did in terms of parts of the study in order to reach this conclusion? Oh, yes, Jackie, absolutely. What they did for the study is they had about 2,000 participants participants in a national survey and the age range was pretty broad so that's where you want to look at what that actually means 12 to 49 and they found that even across those groups and in women it was more significant than men that sitting for at least two hours kind of negates the effect no sitting for six hours negates the effect of like a one hour of exercise so you're not really benefiting yourself if you sit around a lot during the day and you think relaxing is good or at work when you forget the time and you're just looking at the internet and working hard, you should really get bounce up and down. You should go get yeah. something to eat, take a little walk. And, and what about sleep? You know, you're advised to get about eight hours of sleep a night. Does sleep not count as a sedentary behavior as well? Absolutely not. Sleep is a critical element. In fact, in, to my way of thinking and for what I see in my patients, sleep actually is the most important activity. I consider it more important than exercise. If you don't get enough sleep, it actually leads to obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. And so your body needs to recoup during the night, and that's when the immune system kicks in. So in effect, your internal mechanisms are very active. Okay. But, and so you mentioned this a little while ago, but so many Americans, they sit at their desk for their jobs. How are some of the ways that you can counteract some of the, the negativity of sitting at your desk? So depending on how much control in order to counteract the negativity is if you're in your own business, you might want to situate it so that you're standing and you're working standing, not sitting. And you then, if you want to take a rest, you have a stool like this, and you sit down on it for a while, but then you come up. You want to make sure you take little breaks every 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, walk around. Fidgeting is actually good. Changing position is good. If you're in a big company where they're interested in protecting your health because they have a stake in you staying healthy, then they may help you out with that and sort of create an environment where you can get up and walk around and take breaks every so often. And what at are least some every 30 minutes. At least Sorry. every 30 yeah. minutes, really. Yeah. So you should get up from your desk, walk to the walk bathroom, get bit, some water. Or move around, change positions at your desk, get up, walk around your office, talk while you're on the phone. That's another good tip. If you're doing a lot of calling, you might want to stay on the phone and walk around the room. Should you wear, I mean, is, is that advisable to wear one of those, you know, that measures how many steps you're taking? Would that help someone who's trying to up their level of In activity? In a way, uh, probably not, but as an overall measure of your quality of life and your health and where you want to go with it, it would be fun, but really just the simple act of taking stairs instead of an elevator, not sitting at your desk for long stretches, you know, moving around a lot, not just sitting still and not doing anything. That's really the point. Thank you so much, Dr. Kometi. A lot welcome. of information to digest. I'm sure a lot of people out there, this is the first time they're hearing that as well. Yeah. All right.